everyone i hope you are all well as the title goes today's video is going to be about 10 ways uganda changed me and for those of you who don't know i love traveling and also i'm from uganda so naturally i travel to uganda and these are a few of the things that i picked up along the way and i thought i would share them with you so although i was born in england i do go back frequently these days especially in the past three years i've been going back once a year and the last time I was there was November to December last year okay so I'll get straight into these 10 ways so the first way Uganda changed me is it made me appreciate the little things like organic fruit here we have fruit in abundance I would say but it's not always organic and even if it is organic it's more expensive whereas there people grow fruit in their back gardens it's available everywhere it's fresh you know that it's been picked pretty recently and you know that it's you know good quality here organic fruit is something that you literally have to go out of your way to get it's always at a higher price point than normal fruit so you gravitate more towards the cheaper stuff um, so that's something that I learned to appreciate that's number one the second way Uganda changed me is it made me more of a nature lover I've always kind of loved nature loved the outdoors but going to Uganda and seeing you know this going on safari seeing the nature seeing the mountains in the west and seeing just like all that nature had to offer the fact that you can literally you know use certain plants to scrub your skin and you can you know share butter and all that it made me more of a nature lover and I would say um, kind of like an animal lover as well not to the point of not eating them yet but um, yeah, it made me a nature lover. And so the third way Uganda changed me is it made me proud to be Ugandan. I felt like when I first got there, I had it, I felt like a sense of home. Not that I wasn't proud before, but it kind of gave me more of a sense of where I'm from. I think you kind of do get that sense when your parents speak the language and even when you speak the language as well, because I know a lot of people speak their language, but they've just never been to the country. And I think that's amazing, the fact that you're bilingual and yet you've never even been to your country of origin that's good but you kind of really get that sense of pride and belonging when you visit like yeah this is actually where I come from this is the place that my people come from um, so yeah that is point number three the fourth way Uganda changed me is it helped me understand my mother's upbringing and like all the stories that she used to tell me when I was young um, when I when we were growing up when I went back in 2005 uh, that was my first time to well, I can't say I went back but did I go back no I didn't go back that was my first time there um, I'm kind of questioning it because I came when I was in my mom's stomach so I was kind of on Ugandan soil but when I went to Uganda for the first time in 2005 I visited the north I was I was in Gulu and I then I also went to Kitgum where my grandmother lived where she was born where she lived where she was living and we were at my auntie's place and one night we sat down by candlelight drinking Nescaf also known as coffee and eating bread with blue band and my grandma started to record her songs record voice her voice for my mum on tape and it kind of gave me an essence of all the kind of the way that she described her mum like you know she was always singing she was always you know composing songs and I kind of understood like the kind of childhood that my mum had and all kind of like the stories that she had told me I could even see like the resemblance in my grandma and my auntie in my mum because before then I had never met my grandmother you know my mum's mum I'd never met her that was the first time so I could see the resemblance in her face I could see um, the resemblance in my auntie and it's really amazing to see your mum in like another person it's kind of fascinating and so the fifth way Uganda changed me or should I say the fifth thing Uganda taught me is that it's a very relaxed place like African timing is not is very is like five times worse there you think arriving 10 minutes is bad here there it can be like two hours I think it's become almost an expected thing but I think being around that kind of makes you a bit more relaxed towards it especially in that environment here you're still like African timing, African timing, but there it's like, yeah, you kind of have to put up with it and not get angry with, and not get angry with people. Even sometimes you become the one, I become the one, since we're talking about myself, 
who's late as well. So the sixth way Uganda changed me is that it taught me that Uganda is a very kind of diverse place, like all kinds of people live there and it kind of showed me that I could live there as well, maybe not next year or anything, but it kind of helped to give me, um, it helped to warm, it helped warm me towards the idea. I think sometimes when you've never visited a place and you only have a perception of it, you have this idea of it in your head like no, I would never live there or like no, people are a certain kind of way or that no, I would never find my fit. So the seventh way Uganda changed me is that it actually made me a more cautious but carefree person. Like I realise that there's so many things that you have to watch out for, there's malaria, then there's also um, the border borders, there's the taxis, then there's also people who might pickpocket from you just have to be careful about so many things but at the same time Uganda made me more carefree um, in the sense that um, I don't know it just made me more carefree I think because of the pace of life it's just like it's quite calm so even though there are these things that made me more cautious at the same time I did feel quite carefree um, yeah, and it's quite nice, especially when you're doing things like picking fruit off a tree, then you definitely feel carefree. So the eighth way Uganda changed me is it kind of made my eating times more regulated. I know it sounds strange, but I guess here I do have, I guess I eat lunch at a specific time, but there it's like it's breakfast, lunch and dinner. So it's kind of like a communal affair in the whole house. And, um, and it's nice because it's like something to look forward to as well. And so the ninth way Uganda changed me is that it kind of helped me see, you know, that there were dark skinned people out there just like me who, you know, didn't see it any different. I said this to a few people, it's like the moment I landed I felt like a sense of home, I felt a sense of belonging and um, I didn't feel like I was standing out anymore so it was really good for me and it taught me that I didn't have to feel uncomfortable at all. So the tenth way Uganda changed me is it actually made me see my insecurities in a different way. It made me kind of put things into perspective especially when I visited different parts of the country like or no different parts of the I would say community like the villages, the city and everywhere like people have had a hard time there was war there people have been you know hurt and displaced and still they find a reason to smile and to celebrate seeing that helped me shift my perspective okay so that has been it for my 10 ways you're gonna change me video if you are living outside Uganda and you are from Uganda originally whether you were born there or your parents are from there and you visited and found that Uganda changed you in a way then please do leave your comments below and I would love to read them um, it's so nice to have people comment saying I'm from Lira or I'm from Gulutu or I'm an Acholi or like from all over Uganda or even from just wherever you are it's so nice to see where you're all from and like your perspective on living in the countries that you're in now and so even if you're not from Uganda and you can relate in one way or the other just leave it in the comments I know a lot of you comment on my Ugandan related videos and say this happens in Ghana this happens in Jamaica this happens in you know wherever you're from I've read that quite a lot anyway thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you soon bye